It's for that reason I like to always admonish young Liberians and I like to say to your face that hey stop playing stop playing okay stop playing gather your life together package yourself and know that what you are seeing around you in Liberia is not sufficient okay it's not sufficient be able to step up your game whatever you are into make sure that you do it to the best of your ability so that you'll be able to make many remember our kids are going to ask us questions what answer are we going to give to them this first liberal rabbit fan channel is going to trickle a lot of great things that you as an entrepreneur in the border of Liberia can say yes I think I can venture my time into this and at the end of the day I can be able to get this result and I can even bring people on board so that through my initiative they can be able to have food to put on the table Hello guys, I'm coming to you live and direct from a hotel room here in Accra and uh, today I'll be sharing with you a couple of things as it relates to rabbit farming and uh, how important it is to really step up your game most especially the age we have found ourselves, the technology age and when you are a farmer what are some of the things you can do to get your, yourself on path for other farmers that are into the process as well well in Liberia I'm I'm basically into rabbit farming and rabbit has given me the reason to see how best I can extend my endeavor into other ventures like cash crops and fish bone and what have you because there are so many reasons when you are into the process of rabbit farming look let me tell you you don't have to be a professional before engaging into this process if I tell you my story how I started you won't believe it but they are all read on this same channel that you're gonna go by and retrospect about how I started, how I pressed forward, and today I am at this level. You would not believe it. So the reason for which I'm always doing this is because our country, Liberia, is very old. But when it comes to some development issues, we are left way behind. And other countries that have just gained independence, they are 50 years old, 40 years old, they have gone far ahead of us. If you look back home in Liberia, you, you, you find out a lot of people are wasting time after meaningless things. And what breaks my heart is that majority of these people are youthful population. Youthful population where the country depends on us. The country depends on us. The country rests upon our shoulder as young people. But here we are. We are gambling our time and our resources our heart and energy we are gambling it honestly guys why are you wasting your time behind some people who don't who don't even they are not even prepare for business you should be boasting of what you have done over the first two three years now not to stay be hoping not to stay be hoping because a hope without any work is dead it's fit you have any faith for it but you're not working towards it it become it's become there okay so what I'm telling you that uh, is that you have to understand you have to understand that you as an individual living in a country you has a responsibility and your responsibility is to contribute to that country in the more efficient way that your country can be so proud of you so you don't want to sit down and rest your shoulder on your mother on your father on your brother and sister to do it for you you gotta you gotta pick up this thing can you look at my story now somebody from the, somebody that i don't know from nowhere was able to sponsor my trip and do did more than if i tell you you will be shocked this man gave me one thousand five hundred united states dollar do you know that's how much money in Liberia back home so all you need all you need as a youth as a young person as a determined person is to always think outside the box think outside the box and things gonna get better for you think outside the box if you don't think outside the box before you wake up the, the coffees might be cold and you might not even get that flavor that you really desire and 
when at that point you start to overthink and when you are overthinking you start to age before you make up your mind you are older than your age and this is what happening in liberia so everybody want to blame the government so look at my story now if i were going to bl blame the government do you think i could be to where i am today i was not going to if i could blame my, my, my parents for not laying the foundation do you think i could be to this point i am today i was never gonna be may my father so rest in peace he fought for us it was it was it was his his prayer that we become successful people and even when we got out there now to start doing what we could do representing the family in our country he died so she asked it because my dad is no more so everything about the universe of my country is gone backwards so let me just do anyhow with my life no i can't do that be honest every information you are giving out there about yourself be honest it's going to help you clean your feet clean your hands you are not a superman you can make mistakes but be willing to recover from those mistakes don't keep repeating the mistakes you made in the past then that means you are not ready know that you can put up the flag of the country you can represent the country you can step out there and you can say to someone that i'm from library they could say yeah welcome come and have a seat all depends how you're going to present yourself and it's going to derive from how you think how you eat how you sleep how you take care of yourself that is your body so guys i want to say i'm so excited I want to say thanks so much to Mr. Abraham City of the U.S. He has been so, so great in terms of helping us at the farm. Today, the rabbit will be so excited if I get back to Liberia from Ghana. I got so much to have started doing for them now that I was not even doing in the past. And that was only because I was just into the process and hoping that it could get better. And from what I have seen out here in Ghana, I'm coming up with a full video. And that's why you don't you can you can't afford to miss it. You can't afford to miss what I'm coming up with. You have been waiting for long to see new video and I'm coming up with them. You can't afford to miss what I have gotten from here and the kind of my experience I have gotten from Ghana. I'm coming up with it. I'm packaging them, I'm preparing them. So guys, watch out for the video and don't forget to subscribe share this video and just share just share and invite more family to this channel we are here to make liberia proud and we are here to make sure that we are on path we are on path with other rabbit farmer you can trust first liberal rabbit farm to get you the best some of our farmers that we even put into the process are having some doubt and after this trip trust me those doubt will be clear because there are so much that have been in store so much that have been in store that is very very clean that the rabbit we highly appreciate ranging from their medication their care their feeling their entire welfare in general even linking to our fish pond and what have you cash crop irrigation setting up so much guys Ghanaians are much on appreciate the Ghanaian. They are so 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 extraordinary when it comes to our reception. They are very very wonderful people because here they are willing to connect with you and even show you the way. There is nothing the prayer I ever noticed in Accra. Nothing the prayer. For every man you meet, you ask him a question, he's in a better position to give that little time to you on where you are going or what you are looking for and with no complaint and not even expecting anything in return except out of kind gesture like what i do sometimes give them i have so much on my mind for my communities most especially the surrounding of west liberal rabbit farm i have so much on my mind and by the grace of god i'm going to achieve them because you know what i want to see people smile i want to see people happy I want to see people like being transformed. I want to help the sick. I want to help the needed. I want to help children that are not going to school. On this note, I want to say thanks to you guys and watch out for the video. So I can say bye-bye, but I'll catch you on the next video. Until I see you, be good and stay out of trouble.